Eternals follows a group of immortals tasked by the Celestials to defend Earth against a race of creatures known as Deviants. Hello everybody, my name is Josh from Movie Apprentice and welcome back to the channel where I review Chloe Zhao's Eternals, a Marvel film that is getting a very divisive response, to put it mildly, with a lot of insinuations being made. This review will be spoiler free as I'll be going on for half hour if I went into spoilers and non-spoilery stuff. So for this review, we're going to go spoiler free, and then when I do my Eternals ranking, that's when I'll talk spoilers as well. The criticism for this film, when it's the sensible criticism, it is well warranted, because for the first hour, this film is very inconsistent when it comes to the pacing. It jumps from the past to the present and back to the past again, very frequently and sometimes very suddenly and whilst i can appreciate why they had to do this because chloe zhao the poor woman had to cram in not only 10 brand new characters but cram in a hell of a lot of lore to explain where they have been this whole time and how they have influenced the progress of human history but due to this jumping back and forth we don't really get to know the characters too well we get a little bits and pieces of these characters they don't get fully fleshed out until later down the line the one thing i will say is my big concern going into this was how they go going to establish all 10 of these characters equally over the course of two and a half hours and i will say she does a great job at giving each of them their own distinct personality that is beyond just their individual power there's a very MMO RPG element to the whole team. Some are more attacking, where others are more support, like healing and illusionists. It's a nice little combo, and the RPG fan in me really appreciated that element. And I will say that the characters, for the most part, did work for me. Now, in terms of who my favourites were versus the ones I thought weren't as well developed, could be quite surprising because I found a lot of the side ones to be more appealing and engaging. And some of the main ones. The core three that the film primarily focuses on is Cersei, Icarus and Sprite and quite frankly I found them to be either very monotone or very boring as a core three which I thought was very disappointing. I thought at least Sprite would have given me a little bit of a number five vibe from Umbrella Academy but alas they were one of the more annoying characters. If I had to list off my favourites going over to my head it would be Gilgamesh, Fina, Kingo, and Makari. Those are the ones that I enjoyed the most out of this squad of 10, but they are each given their own unique personality and motivation throughout the movie, which I really appreciated. The film really hits its stride when it comes to celebrating humanity and human nature. Chloe Zhao has always been fantastic at doing that sort of thing, and it's no different in this one. The cinematography as well is easily the best that Marvel has ever been. I would strongly recommend watching this in IMAX if you can, purely for the Arisham moments, which is the celestial that is telling them what to do, because seeing that scale on the big screen was just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can't put it any other way than that. Eternals tries to be what a lot of Marvel films don't, and that is a movie. I don't mean to sound Scorsese about this, but it spends less time quipping and more time focusing on personal relationships and telling a story that has stakes. For all the Marvel films that are out there, very few that I genuinely feel there is a threat to the characters on screen, whereas in this one, I felt that any character at any point was in danger of passing away and I thought it was a very effective nice breath of fresh air for this. It just works really well when it's focusing on the intimate moments between characters. There are obviously a lot of intermingled relationships throughout and the family aspect as well is a strong suit. There are a lot of people that I've seen that don't like Kingo in this. I personally found this to be one of my favourites purely because he clearly held the family aspect stronger than many of the others did in this. There are a couple of things I feel like could have been fleshed out a bit.
bit more. I would have liked to see a bit more of Cersei as a character rather than a reluctant leader. I don't think there's enough given to her, even though she takes up a lot of screen time. I don't get to know who they are as opposed to someone that is very empathetic to the human cause. One common quote I have completely ignored it to this point is people claiming that it's woke and why is this cast so diverse? Honestly, the diversity in this is not only needed, but it makes sense. How are you going to celebrate human history and humanity and also blend in with humanity if you don't take in pieces of every element of humanity and put it together? I love the diversity in this and it was very well needed. Now, diversity doesn't always mean good movie. You can have a diverse cast and still make a terrible movie. And while some people are going to try and say that Eternals is that, I personally don't think so. I think Eternals works very well in a lot of scenes. The scale, the humanity, the relationship between characters for the most part was all really strong. It does have a lot of pacing issues and some of the more key Eternals are underdeveloped in my personal opinion. But overall i don't feel like this is as bad as some people are saying but it's definitely not top tier marvel it's not the best marvel film it's not the best marvel film of this year it's not even in my top 10 but it serves its purpose for what it's trying to do the set designs and costume designs i absolutely adored i can't wait to go to a convention and seeing a group of 10 people all cosplaying the eternals because just the line work in their suits and the history involved within it it reminds me very much of how Lord of the Rings did their elven armors. It for some reason just reminded me of that. It felt very otherworldly. It's strange to see that this otherworld race of beings gives us more humanity in this than a lot of other Marvel films do. The film doesn't work when it tries to be quippy. There are times where jokes do work, but for the most part, the humor is very ham-handed and doesn't gel well with the film. So I'd like to have seen the comedy in this just stripped away because it would have been a lot better. Performance-wise, everyone does a great job. Angela Jolie, I've seen people are complaining that she's not in it enough. Quite frankly, I like the subversion that arguably the biggest name in this cast list is more of a supporting role. When they are on screen, they are an absolute badass. Gemma Chan is great as Cersei. I just wish she had more to do with that character but she definitely did a good job as the emotional core throughout this i really did enjoy this though the ending is very sudden and while i loved how personal the fights felt they won't go into history as some of the marvel's best action set pieces but that's not what this film is about this film is about humanity and family that is what it's about and if you go into this with an open mind, expect something different and welcoming something new to the MCU, you at least be able to appreciate what Chloe Zhao is trying to do here. Before I get into my grade, if you like what I do on this channel, consider clicking on the like button and subscribing for more of these like this coming all the time. Coming up on the channel, I'm going to be reviewing King Richard, as well as finally getting my brother's Keeper review out. There's a lot of content coming, and I can't wait for you to see it all. So Eternals, is it the best MCU movie? No, nope, not the best this year, not in my top 10. but it tries to be a movie, it tries to give us stakes, and it tries to give us an intimacy that is very rarely seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And for that, I feel like it succeeds. The diversity is a strong suit. Some of the side characters are really strong. Some of the main ones are pretty weak. The pacing is a little all over the place. There was a tall task within this. And I do love how the scale of the MCU has somehow got bigger. Even after having half the universe wiped out, The Eternals shows us that there is a much bigger scale going off here. And I can't wait to see how this will tie in in the future. So overall, I'm going to have to say that for me, Eternals is a tea that needs more sugar. So Eternals, have you seen it? If you have, let me know you thought in the comments below. Again, you like what I do on the channel? Click the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Keep your eye out for more video content like this coming all the time. And until next time, my name is Josh. I have been Movie Apprentice. And I'll see you.